Welcome to the Christian Stories channel. God did not punish Lot's daughters for sleeping with their father. Was it even a sin? Most avoid this disturbing Bible story. Have you ever come across a passage in scripture so shocking, so morally questionable, that you wonder why it was included? Or perhaps hastily skimmed past it? Unable to stay? Genesis 19 contains such an account, the tragic tale of Lot and his daughters in the wake of Sodom and Damar's destruction. Their despairing decision and its horrific consequences have disturbed readers for millennia. Today we dive deep into this controversial text to uncover what most avoid, desperately hoping to forget. As we peel back its perplexing layers, we discover profound revelations on disobedience, deception, doubt, and ultimately, the dangers of man's solutions versus trusting God's providence. This difficult story warrants deeper reflection. Most are familiar with the destruction of the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah after God's judgment on extreme wickedness. But, Abraham's nephew, lived in Sodom but was spared along with his daughters. After the total destruction of their city, the three survivors took shelter in a cave in the mountains. What happens next is both perplexing and profoundly disturbing. With no men left alive following Sodom's downfall, Lot's daughters hatch a desperate scheme to continue their family line. They get their father drunk and sleep with him, becoming pregnant by their own father. Their actions spawn the Moabite and Ammonite nations, enduring enemies of the Israelites. On the surface, the text seems neutral, giving no explicit moral commentary. Yet, this complex passage warrants deeper investigation. Could there be subtle clues embedded in the story that reveal the author's perspective? The story begins earlier when Lot, Abraham's nephew chooses to settle in the Fertile Valley near the infamous cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Though wickedness abounded there, at first Lot remained undefiled, even showing hospitality to Angel's visitors who arrived to warn of impending judgment. The men of Sodom soon surrounded Lot's home, demanding to know his guests, intent to rape them. Lot shamefully even offered his own virgin daughters to the lustful mob, further revealing the corruption of the city infecting his own heart. Immediately, the angels intervened, causing the men to lose their sight and advising Lot to flee with his family to escape the destruction of the cities by God. What happened next is vividly described in the verses. Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. Thus he overthrew those cities and the entire plain, destroying all those living in the cities and also the vegetation in the land. But Lot's wife looked back, and she became a pillar of salt. Genesis 19 verses 24 to 26, after his wife became a pillar of salt, he escaped to the hills with his two daughters. After witnessing the absolute devastation of their city, Lot's daughters believed they and their father. Were the only people left alive on earth with no men to marry and continue their family line, the sisters formulated an unthinkable plan. One day the older daughter said to the younger our father is old, and there is no man around here to give us children, as is the custom all over the earth. Let's get our father to drink wine and then sleep with him and preserve our family line through our father Genesis 19 verses 31 to 32. Take note of the repetition of the words father and sleep with, terms that appear unnecessary and excessive here. The text could have simply said, let's get him drunk and sleep with him to preserve our line. Instead, the author emphasizes our father and connects it possessively. Let's get our father to drink wine and then sleep with him. This repetition highlights the gravity of the sin, that they plan to have sexual relations with their own father. The horrific story continues. So they got their father to drink wine that night, and the older daughter went in and slept with him. He was not aware of it when she lay down or when she got up. The next day the older daughter said to the younger, Last night I slept with my father. Let's get him to drink wine again tonight, and you go in and sleep with him so we can preserve our family line through our father. So they got their father to drink wine that night also, and the younger daughter went in and slept with him. He was not aware of it when she lay down or when she got up. Genesis 19 verses 33 to 35 on two separate occasions, they drunken their father to the point that he had no awareness of his own daughters taking turns to have sexual relations with him. This resulted in both sisters becoming pregnant by their father. The two sons born from this incestuous plan became the ancestors of enemy nations, the Moabites and Ammonites. Here are some potential interpretations and effects of this difficult story. Not only did the sisters conspire to make their father drunk, 
but they also had sexual relations and became impregnated by their own father, a grievous act of incest by any standard. In fact, the story connects the deeds of Lut's daughters to the perverted sexuality of Sodom which led to its destruction. Earlier life had offered his own virgin daughters to the crowd of men in Sodom, revealing how its corruption had already tainted his concept of sexuality and virtue. After Sodom's judgment, his remaining daughters then get their father drunk and sleep with him, symbolizing Sodom's wickedness through their sexual immorality. It appears that the author also views the daughter's actions negatively. The story also contains clear symbolic parallels. The same as Noah after the flood, Lot lies in a cave naked and drunk, taken advantage of by his children. Yet while Noah's other sons cover his nakedness, Lot's daughters uncovering their father's body for sex mirrors the rebellious act of him. This associates their behavior with sinfulness and rebellion against God. There is also a contrast set up between righteous Abraham struggling to produce an heir in old age and Lot's careless failure to provide husbands for his daughters. Where Abraham seeks an honorable solution, Lot's daughters take matters into their own hands using their father, bringing shame to everyone involved. In addition, the daughters claim that no men remain on earth to father children is unfounded. As we later learn Abraham's line continues through Isaac. Their excuses echo that of Abraham and Sarah, who doubted God's promise and birthed Ishmael through Hagar. Again, this represents the human tendency to doubt God's providence and seek answers in sin. Through subtle literary parallels and connections, the author conveys a dim view of these events without passing judgment directly. While avoiding explicit judgment, the tone of the text reveals a profound commentary on the origins of human solutions rooted in the doubt, deceit, and disobedience that plague mankind. Despite having escaped Sodom's destruction, its perverted influence had corrupted Lot and his daughter's concept of sexuality and virtue. Instead of reflecting Abraham's faith, their actions reflect Sodom's sexual immorality. In the end, the shocking affair leaves tragedy through the birth of two enemy nations. Through subtle literary devices, the account powerfully conveys the author's negative perspective without explicit judgment. It provides insight into the biblical view of morality, as well as the dangers of man's own misguided solutions versus trusting in God's plan. We hope this video has enriched your understanding of this complex text. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow history enthusiasts, and subscribe for more content. Remember to hit the notification bell to stay updated. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.